Hi developers, I'm Hussain Dilia, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to develop iOS applications using Xamarin. Specifically, here we'll learn how to create an application that contains a toolbar item that will display a menu for certain options for your page. So as we see here, this application contains this toolbar at the bottom of the page where I have icons for or menu items for certain actions. So let's learn how to develop this application in Xamarin. For that, I'll fire up Xamarin Studio, go and create a new solution, choose single view app template, and hit next, then call our application toolbar app iOS, for example, then next and create the project. Once the project is created, we'll go to the storyboard, and from the storyboard, we choose to overview the application as an iPhone 6 application, then go and add the toolbar from the toolbox window right here. So I'll go and search for toolbar. So here it is, my toolbar. Now I just go and drag and drop it to my user interface here. Make sure you to drop it the right way. Great. Now this is our toolbar item. It, as you see here in the toolbar I have some options that I can change like the bar tint or the color of the toolbar. Here we can choose this color for example. And we do also have a default item and this toolbar which is the item right here so if I select that item you see that its type is of type UI bar button item and it also have some options I can change like the, the style and also I can change its identifier so here you see here it's written the text uh, item but I can go and change that to add for example and within add they have this icon last to tell uh, I want to add an item. In addition to that we have we can change the color of its tint. So here it's displayed in blue but we can change it to white for example. To add a new item we just look for an element called UI bar button item. So this is my bar button item, drag and drop it right here. And the same, we can um, change its text property or its icon. So let's say here I am, I'll make it as a search button. So it will display the icon for the search. I can change the tint, white color. Let's add another button for refresh, for example. So I, all I need to do is to change that identifier to refresh. And great. Now what if I want to add another uh, button to display an action that is not in this list of identifiers. So in that case, I just pick custom and then give the name of this menu item. Let's say here, for example, I want to call it, um, let's say, um, like, for example. And here it is. So what if now I want that uh, to add another action, but I want to place it at the right of the menu item instead of being at the left by default. So to do that, uh, let's just change it, stop for example. So to do that, I need to add another button item. I put it between the action menu that I want to place it at the right and the other items. And I will change its identifier to be here flexible space. So if I choose flexible space, look at what will happen. So you see here, 
it will make sure that the items at the right will be placed at the right of the menu item and here of course those uh, this arrow will not be shown in the real uh, application great now that we have created our menu now we want to associate an action for each menu so that when the user clicks the add icon here an action will be triggered to do that we just select that menu and double click to generate the event handler as you see here it's now telling me where to place that event handler inside my view controller so I place it after the constructor and right here I can add uh, let's say I want to display uh, an alert telling that the user just uh, clicked the uh, add action and the same thing for the other actions we just select them double click and generate um, the event handler for them but this time the user chooses uh, the action here is uh, search so let's say you press it search good now let's run this application and see it for our new toolbar here yeah, I click add and here it is my alert shown I hope this video was helpful for you and thank you